Yeah, hi there. These comments are for V, and I am Michael, the founder, owner, and the materials writer for all of your lessons at the 7-step system to pass the TOEFL IBT. And uh, you sent me an email, so I want to take a look at what you said. So, you said it's very helpful to research your site. I am 50 years old. I'm going to apply to a master's program in digital media in Canada, and I need to improve my TOEFL score. Sounds good. Now, guess what? Uh, I am 49. I will be 50 in December. So you and I are almost the same age. You say, I, you want to see here not has, I have tried to take the TOEFL four times. I don't think you have to say you tried to take it. You took the TOEFL four times, right? So um, your results in April 2015 and previously in February, so you're giving me your results. And my goodness, you are making some dramatic improvements. So you're, so you're doing much better. You went from 80 to 89. That is incredible. However, you need to get 93 with a total of 25 in the speaking and writing. So what could you recommend me? I'm going to apply in fall 2015. Therefore, I have a few months to prepare. You do. Everything sounds pretty good, but once you say that you need to go from 20 to 25 or 22 to 25 in the writing, that will take some time. But here's the good news. Here's why you want to join my course. Is for the next few months, you can start posting speaking and writing practice tests on my website. V. And uh, I will score your speaking practice test in about, in about, um, about 24 hours. I'll just show you an example here right now. Uh, today's Saturday, but uh, over my website, as you can see, I still have one, two, three, I think I have about five different speaking practice tests today I have to score. These are students who have submitted the responses. This one 21 hours ago. This one again 21 hours ago. This one is one day ago. So my general rule is to try to get these done before a day goes by so you can start getting feedback. Now also you can begin posting independent and integrated writing practice tests on my website and again it takes me maybe one to two days to get back with you results so you can see your score, so you can measure your progress. So what do I recommend for you? Uh, I recommend a few things here. And because even though your score right now is pretty high, I think that you want to continue to improve overall your academic English language abilities. So my recommendation is to do this through three steps. Each step, there are some smaller steps in there, and I will explain those as I go. So, Vladimir, step number one is continue to read about 30 minutes every day. Here, hold on. Sorry about that. Okay, you want to continue to read for about 30 minutes every day. Focus uh, on the main and the most important supporting points of those reading passages. Secondly, you need to continue practicing your listening uh, skills. Maybe 30 minutes a day is probably going to be good enough, so you can do that. So um, as you do that, you should be paying attention to your notes, and this is where it comes very, very important for you. So using your notes, I want you to write three academic summaries each week of a reading or listening passage. Each of these summaries should be about 250 words. So that means you're writing about 200 and 750 words every week. So you're writing about the reading and the listening passages. Now the reading materials, it doesn't really matter what you do or what you read as long as you focus on things you have an interest in. A lot of my students get a lot of success just by reading newspapers, magazines, and also longer books. So I think that's going to be very important for you. Now you should also be speaking about the reading and the listening passages that you're practicing. My recommendation is to do three to five oral responses each week so you, you, you become more comfortable speaking about reading and listening passages. Now the third thing that you want to do is to join my course and start going through the lessons in... And uh, here's my recommendation. 
I recommend you start first with the first three sections of my course. Vocabulary, pronunciation, and grammar. Do those three sections first. If you see a lesson that you already know and you understand, just skip it. Move on to the next lesson. I know your score is 89, so you might not need every single lesson in my course. So if you find something you're familiar with, then skip that. If you see a lesson that you think you, you don't understand as much and you need to improve your English more in that area, of course spend more time. Once you've completed the vocabulary, pronunciation, and grammar lessons, then you can focus on the listening and reading parts of my course. Again, your reading is pretty good, your listening is pretty good, but you still want to maintain these skills, right? That's what my website will help you do. So again, if you see a lesson that you already know and it's easy, skip it. Move on to the next lesson. Once you finish the reading and the listening lessons in my course, Vladimir, then you can go to the writing and speaking parts of my course. This is where you really want to spend most of your time. This is where you need to make the most improvements if you want to reach 25 on the speaking and the writing. That's pretty much it. And maybe one more suggestion. If you do need, uh, if, you, if you don't have English TV and you can't watch, for example, documentary history science uh, type programs, uh, you can also use websites on the internet. I got three specific suggestions. You can, you can use, um, uh, it's National Public Radio. This is a good website for you. You can also use TED Talks. And then the last one is Randall Cyber Listening Lab. Those websites will be very beneficial for you in terms of helping you improve your academic English language proficiency. All right? And that's what you need to do. That's going to really help get you the results you seek. And uh, all the best to your high score and TOEFL success.